2016. This is amazing. I didn't know this. Only a third of Māori and Pacifica students achieved university entrance. Wow. But there's a program in Auckland which is helping change that. It's a boarding school in one of the city's wealthiest suburbs, offering an education that could otherwise be out of reach. It isn't flash, but this crumbling old building in the middle of upmarket Epsom is home to a quiet revolution. Cassidy Panohor was one of the first recruits and is now a graduate of InZone. It's a boarding school program aimed at lifting the academic achievement of Māori and Pacifica boys and turning them into future leaders. I thought maybe doing a trade could be me, uh, joining the army, that was something I wanted to do. But then um, coming to InZone, I just really on my horizon and uh, thinking for careers and stuff. And I left school in year 30 I had a clear intent to study at the university and do history and law. It's pretty simple. Take one top state school, Auckland Grammar, Decile 9, and bring 50 boys from outside the exclusive catchment area to board in zone. They get the same education usually reserved for those with multi-million dollar addresses. Some boys take off straight away, for others it takes time to adjust. We've had some boys from really rough environments, a lot of poverty, stuff we didn't really talk about, but I think the boys that had the toughest backgrounds were the ones that were the most successful. Now 19 years old, Cassidy is focused on his arts law degree, but he still gives his all to the InZone program as a live-in mentor to the new batch of boys coming through. This place offers mentors, meals, and the support of a strong Fano. You've got that poor for the yeah, coming on on Sunday. Boarding house manager Brad Roberts is on hand at all hours of the day to make sure the boys are doing okay. How things going? Good, just doing the study. Oh, well done, well done. Keep up the good work. It's wraparound care 24 7. We're all considered brothers, we're all um, on the same playing field. We all have a lot of aroha for each other, a lot of love, support from the older like mentors, our matos, our fires. People want you to succeed and that motivates you more, you don't want to disappoint. In zone is the brainchild of American expat Terence Wallace. He struck a rent-free deal with Ngati Fatua, who own the land and buildings as part of their treaty settlement. Auckland Grammar has backed the project from the very beginning. We couldn't have achieved what we have without Grammar having really treated this as a partnership. But I think the school has gained a lot. Before the zoning legislation came in, there were 10 plus percent of the role at Grammar was Māori and Pacifica, and it had fallen away to around 2 percent. So so those numbers are back up to where they were. Campus rules are strict. Two hours of study every night, no smartphones. Lights out is 9.30, there's no electronics then either. And it works. 50 boys have graduated so far and most go on to tertiary study or careers. Nico Retti Beasley is in his final year at Grammar. He's made senior prefect and is shooting for either med school or dentistry when he graduates. From start of food, from your sort of nurtured to, to go out and, and be somebody rather than just uh, fall under the stereotype and, you know, just be another statistic that sadly um, has been a stereotype on our people. So yeah, past couple years have been really good. It's, it's opened up our eyes uh, to, to bigger, bigger, better things. Here we go. I think the real successes of this programme will not be evident um, for a number of years. Are they able to take what they've learnt here and deliver something back to their own community. So yeah, it's a long game we're playing. I always wanted to give back to this place that gave so much to me, making sure InZone can continue to make young Māori and Pacific men a better society, I guess. I'm proud of this place, definitely. Yeah, really inspiring story. By the way, if you're not from Auckland, this might sound weird to you that the zoning thing is such a big idea, but people have got obsessed with it, particularly in the last few years. So you can be on the wrong side of a street and not be in the zone for that really flash high school that you really want your kids to go to. Yet yeah, another reason why it is awesome to live in the regions and other parts of New Zealand. You've got way more affordable housing and heaps of awesome school options. Yeah.